Well, engaging hospice does mean the recognition that you're in the final part of the journey. Yeah, that's inescapable. The challenge here, in my mind, was one, uh, my own idea of hospice, which was last resort kind of thing rather than a managed uh, good care. Uh, how we get rid of that attitude. Second is uh, why, for, for what reason did I, did people not talk to me about that at the hospital? Was that my, my fault that I didn't, I, I think it is, that, uh, that I didn't engage with a social worker or someone. So, um, you know, the biggest, the biggest culprit here is my own uh, ignorance about uh, the hospice program. The most important things for me uh, were the above and beyond were my ability to call at any hour of the night and get uh, an, an answer and in some cases getting a, a nurse over any explanation like this and that, that gave me uh, uh, much more peace of mind that I had. I managed here to have something that was as supportive as the team that we had in the hospital without having to go. Uh, we're a, a family that talks a lot, it's obvious, and, and so our need to discuss these things was, was good and brought the family together. And it was important for each of us to understand the, the, the role we played, not just with mom or my wife, but with the hospice team too. And to, and to really become part of that family. And that, was, that for us was a, was a very good experience. And a sign you're not alone. You know, that's, that's what saves you at the end of the day. You're not alone.